weight loss surgery peeps. Sorry I'm a day late on my Friday update and actually I probably seem to have been gone for quite a while since the last time I posted was that weird video I did in the airport on my way to the gorge. Well first I gotta say woohoo I am ultra proud of myself. I went camping for four days at uh, the gorge in Washington, slept on the ground, hiked up the steep hill at the amphitheater for three nights after the concert. I met that challenge I set for myself and I am very, very happy about that. I have wanted to go see Dave Matthews Band at the Gorge for many years and never felt that I could because of my weight and because of my physical issues and uh, because I had lost 70 pounds. I was able to finally do it and I can see it only getting better. It was wonderful. The group of people we camped with, the camping experience and the concerts, it was everything I'd hoped for and more. And I hope to go back every year. Uh, those numbers I mentioned, I'm not that crazy about how I'm doing right now in the weight loss department. I had lost a pound when I last checked in that week bring me down to 69 pounds loss and I have lost only one more pound since then when I weighed in. Got home weighing the same and lost a pound since then. So I am now down to 210 pounds, 70 pounds lost since I started my pre-op diet and 52 pounds lost since uh, my surgery date. Now my surgery date was four months ago yesterday so this is my four month surgery anniversary. I have to say that the vertical seed gastrectomy was a wonderful, wonderful thing that I have done. I don't regret it for a minute. I am um, happy in my body once again and feel energy, feel aliveness. I've said all this before and I just have to say it again. I'm, I'm very, very pleased that I did this surgery and wish, only wish I'd done it sooner. Um, anyone out there that's considering it, yeah, it's it's not easy there. The first few weeks are difficult and it's, you know, you've got to work the program. I do my low carbs, I drink my water, I do my protein, and I'm exercising like crazy. And But it pays off in weight loss as you've always wished it would be. And to have lost 70 pounds in such a short time is just such a gift. Just such a gift. Now, if I seem like I'm talking about energetic, exciting things, but my countenance and my voice don't, don't agree with that, I will share with you a, a challenge that I am experiencing right now, which um, I'd love some hugs and support for. I, as I've mentioned in the past, I have some severe medical problems with nerve damage in my back damage in both my knees, injuries I've suffered, both from just um, having a piece of disc lodged to my sciatic nerve that had to be uh, removed during surgery, and from three serious falls I've had, as well as a few minor falls since then. I, because, and, and seriously, that's why I had the surgery. I, when my doctor told me he saw me being in a wheelchair next, you know, I took action and I did whatever it took to change that prognosis. Now, one of the things that has gone along with this pain situation is that I have been on um, varying degrees of serious pain medications for quite a few years. And two years ago, I was put on a fentanyl patch. Now, fentanyl is heavy duty stuff, I'm telling you. Um, it's the stuff they give you when you have surgery and it's, you know, it works very well or so they say. Well, I've been on a very low dose patch. Here it is right here. And um, what, it, it, it works 24-7 releasing the medication. It's the lowest dose that there is. And then in addition, I take um, pills for as needed for my pain and it has always bothered me that the fentanyl alone was not enough and that I have had to take pills for the, for pain and I think the thing that has concerned me is that I'm not really sure what the fentanyl does. I feel like it has caused me to be a little bit more out of touch with what is exactly going on with my body and so I made the decision, which kind of surprised my doctor, to go off of the fentanyl patch. And I have started that process this week, cutting the patches in half 
and um, I'm in withdrawal, and I'll be honest about that. This, I guess only by stopping the patch am I really finding out what it was doing for me. I didn't think of it as being that effective since I have to take other medication every day for breakthrough pain. I guess it really has been doing something because um, I'm going through everything you go through with withdrawal. I'm kind of twitchy, I'm achy, I'm anxious, um, just kind of agitated, and it's no fun. And my challenge right now is, it's obviously at a time when I would reach for carbs, ice cream, popcorn, all those soothing foods, just to have something to do, actually, more than anything else, because I feel agitated and I feel like I need to be doing something, and that something feels like it could be food really easily. Obviously awakening all the things in me that have to do with food from my past. So I've been really good so far about about um, not doing that, and I realize that many of the things that I do to work this program, the water, the exercise, the protein, the vitamins, are going to help me ultimately with, ultimately with this withdrawal. So wish me luck with that, and if I don't seem like my usual effervescent self, that is why I'm struggling with this. I mean, today I was so close to just saying, oh, forget this, I'm just going to use the patch. My doctor said, oh, you know, don't feel bad if you had to have to contact me and have me prescribe it. He didn't ask me to stop using it. It's my own decision. I feel that I want to be able to use over the, not over the counter, but use my pain medication as needed so that I can get a much better handle on how this weight loss has affected my pain level. And um, it just doesn't feel good to me anymore to be on the fentanyl patch. I want that out of here. So I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks to be able to do that. And um, I'll still keep connected with you guys. And I love read. I'm starting to be able to have the time to read some or see some of your videos and comment. And um, I'm thinking about all of you. And uh, Think about me and keep me in your prayers for this particular challenge I have right now. I will be back in a week. Also, this I also want to add that this serves as my check-in for my uh, the challenge I'm in right now with my team, Lost and Found. Um, this is our 10:30 challenge, and for my first week, as I've mentioned, I lost one pound, and I'll try to do better. So I will see y'all soon. I'll be back. Bye bye. So things are closed.